As apex predators, sharks provide many vital functions for maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Sharks shape fish communities, ensure a diversity of species, and even help our oceans sequester more carbon by maintaining seagrass meadows. But their apex status makes them more susceptible to human threats. Many of these species are impacted by fishing. Now researchers have created a map revealing the important shark and ray areas, ISRAs, where shark, ray and chimera species are most at risk and in need of protection. Especially in tropical and coastal areas where large communities live along the coast and depend upon fish as their main source of protein. They have also developed a framework that aims to fundamentally change how sharks are considered in the design of protected areas. Areas holding the regular and or predictable presence of range-restricted sharks, that are occupied year-round or seasonally life history. And therefore support the protection they desperately need in the face of extinction. Vulnerability. Areas important to the persistence and recovery of threatened sharks range restricted. Areas that are important to sharks for carrying out vital functions across their life cycle including special attributes, areas important for sharks considered for distinct biological, behavioral or ecological attributes or which support an important diversity of species including sharks are a long-lived species. Many take a long time to reach sexual maturity and then only give birth to a few young, said Dr. Rima Jabardo, chair of the IUCNSSC Shark Specialist Group, which helped develop the framework. This makes them particularly susceptible to fishing pressure and with an estimated 37% of species with an elevated risk of extinction, they are facing a biodiversity crisis. Results from the ISRA project will inform policy and ensure that areas critical to the survival of sharks, rays, and chimeras are considered in spatial planning. The ISRA criteria have been developed through a collaborative process involving shark experts, conservation agencies, and governments, and include four criteria and seven sub-criteria.